because I feel really, really sick. <laughs> oh no. No escaping Baldi's camping in the halls. Halls? We're outside. The heck you mean by that? Don't mock me what I'm saying in the halls. Okay then, but I, I, well, please, I don't want to go at him. It's very, very, very scary. That's not my problem, kid. You have to go with him. Your parents already signed your the contract to you to go camping with him. And what if I refuse? You'll be in the detention for three years. Why must do a live, live, live? Three years of detention? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I can do whatever I want. I'm the principal, and you're not. Now you're gonna go with the family, okay? Or else you want to stay in detention for three years so you won't ever see your family ever again, and you will suffer in my office. Come on, kid. It will be fun together, camping together with us. I promise I won't do anything something with you. Just come on. It will be fun between you and me. Come on, kid. Better go with him. Or else I will make you suffer in my office. <sighs> Fine, I'll go with him. Just make, just don't, just tell Baldi to not, like, do anything bad with me. Because I know he's a really, really scary teacher. Oh, I promise I will tell him. Hey, kid, I get on this bus. It'll be fun together. Yeah, uh, I want to note right here before I get in this bus. Why does it... On the, um, why does it say Joe's cross I crossed with ball with your name on it? Um, I don't I don't know what you mean by that. Um, this is my bus. I belong. I, I have been this bus. I I this is my bus. I owned it. Not Joe. I don't know who Joe is. Um, yeah. But just get in the bus, you silly kids. National Forest. Oh man, great memories here when I was a kid. Anyways, get out of the, get out of the bus, kids. It's time to go camping. I still can't believe George Washington was the first president. Huh? Looks like this place is really cool. Huh? 
I hope I can jump rope with someone around here. All right, kids. First step of camping is to set up the fireplace. Now help me up, kids. All right, all set. We got the campfire going. Um, we really don't need any tents because we can sleep outside because nature is our happy place out here. Well, are you sure? Because I'm kind of terrified of, of, of uh, bears, you know, and other animals too. They can, might kill me and stuff. Oh, don't worry, Playtime. I got it all set. I got some bear traps. But anyways, guys, um, Playtime, I want you to go get uh, find some food around this place, like uh, find some fish or deers to hunt down, and uh, yeah. Well, what if I get lost? If you do get lost, no one's ever gonna care about you, Playtime. Well, if you do get lost, we brought uh, Arts and Crafters, because he will teleport you back here. How is that Sock Puppet still alive? I ask myself the same thing too, kid. But anyways, um, Bully, I want you to um, find some sticks so we can make the fire bigger. You can count on me, Mr. Baldi. Yeah, I have one, one question before I go hunting. Um, how do I hunt for animals? Just use your jump rope to strangle them, and then drag it back here, to the campsite. Alright. Well, what about me, Mr. Baldi? Dear God, your voice scared the heck out of me. Um, you can go get some more firewood, since we need that another extra person to, um, help carry another firewood around. Alright. I got- Oh, one more thing before I put out the bear traps in the forest. Um, if you let that campfire go out, or mess something up, that's gonna happen to your face really hard to make sure you'd be unconscious, okay? So don't mess this up for me, okay? You hear me? Good! Now get going, will you? <laughs> Jeremy's gonna mess this up, I know it, because he is a dumb kid. Oh my god, sometimes Mr. Baldy scares me sometimes. All right, just calm down, Jeremy. Just find these firewoods, and then I'll be good to go. I'll get more points, and yeah, and then we'll be good for the night. I hope, hopefully Mr. Bolly doesn't murder me. All right, where are these firewoods? Some around these forests. Where are the firewoods? Ooh, is that Jeremy over there? Slenderman. I know. Yeah, and your Slenderman movie? It, it sucks. sucks. Yes, I know. I don't know why the, the movie creators decided to make a movie out of me. I know it's terrible. Anyways, I'm just gonna walk back or teleport somewhere. I don't know. Wow, for a second I really feel bad for him. That his popular game is now been replaced with a bunch of other crappy uh, popular horror games. Huh. Oh well. Time to set up more bear traps. Oh my gosh. 15 firewoods? This is my lucky nights. This is the best night ever. What the heck? Is that tree in there? That's weird. Because I've never seen that before. Oh well. I'll just keep on finding more firewood. Oh my god, Mr. 
Mr. Baldy's gonna be impressed with me. Better than the bully. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the bully's record. Found them first. You didn't because you're a loser. Ha ha ha! I have more firewood than you, loser. Ha 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 ha! Freaking hate the bully. Oh, I knew he. I knew he would bully me. Of course he will, because he's the bully. Gosh. Well, I just have to find more firewood since that piece of junk stole it. All right, I got the whole bear trap set. Now I just have to wait for my students. Oh, wow, thanks, arts and crafters. Uh, anyways, uh, Mr. Baldy, I got, I got the food. Uh, Good work, playtime. Now I just have to wait for the two boys. Who we'll probably get the firewood. Ah, oh, there they are. All right. Bully, uh, how much firewood did you get? 33 fire. firewood. Yeah, the 33 wood that you stole from me, you stupid. Why would you think he stole some wood from you? I mean, what are you, a racist or something? A racist? That doesn't make any sense, Mr. Baldy. <sighs> he was disguised as a tree, and then he stole all my wood. How was his name a bully count as being racist? Oh, quit your whining, you. <laughs> Just tell me how much wood you got. Yeah, Jeremy. How much wood did you get? Since you're jealous. It's hard for me to kill myself when you guys are talking. Well, I used to have 33, and now I have two. Two firewoods. Of course you grab two. You always mess up things. Like in school, you always mess up every answer I give you, and you always answer wrong. Mr. Bolly, every question three is full of jumbled numbers. No one can even answer them. Because all you kids don't have PhD and calculus and a 4.0 GPA. What the heck does that have to do? Anyways, I don't want to hear it. Um, you two kids did a great job. How about you guys come with me to uh, get some marshmallows for uh, to, for some s'mores, and let uh, Jeremy stay here so he can watch the fire. Yay, s'mores! I like s'mores. I can't believe we forgot some s'mores. <laughs> best thing ever. But yeah, let's leave Jeremy behind, and we'll go to the store and buy some good old s'mores. We'll buy the crackers and chocolate and the marshmallows. All right. And Jeremy, I want you to stay here and let the f and let the fire grow. But if fire b burns out, you know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna beat you with my ruler for messing everything up and ruining everything. Okay? <sighs> yes. Now just stay in there and let the fire grow. And probably get some warmth too, because they're a little bit freezing. But yeah, um, we'll see you about like 30 minutes or something. Yeah, sure. Just leave an elementary kid behind. Yeah, that's real, um, real teacher of the year. <sighs> oh, I, I surely hope I don't get kidnapped by aliens or something. Gosh, Mr. Baldy is so dumb. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. I meant what to say is, uh, Baldy, you're. You're smart. You're a real smart teacher, you know? Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. All right. We'll see you in 30 minutes. Hey, Mr. Baldy, before we go, um, which one of these things is scary the most? Um, this video or this fan fiction of you and the people making out for some odd reason? 
Ew, why was anyone who ever watched that video anyways? Ugh, disturbing. I'm probably gonna get some bleach to bleach out my eyes. But the well, my answer is all of them. Both of them are disturbing. But anyways, let's just not waste time here because we need to get to the store quickly because they close at about like uh, uh, 12 a.m. Uh, we have to get to Walmart fast to get some s'more some s'more supplies and yeah. So let's just not waste time and let's go. So what the heck am I gonna do for 30 minutes while well, they're gone to going to Walmart? Or sellers, I don't know. Uh, maybe I could just like, uh, I could just grab my keyboard or something. Uh, I don't know, besides, the fire's not gonna go out anyways. It's like 40 degrees out here, and we're still alive. Good thing I packed my Game Boy in my backpack. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Alright, we got everything we needed to make the s'mores, the crackers, the good old chocolate, and marshmallows. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. We're gonna have a good s'mores. So. Ready for the go. And that's the story how I never met my dad before because my mother's always 
Uh, oh my gosh. Well, looks like my, my prediction was right. <laughs> Jeremy did mess, mess up, up something. something. He couldn't handle it, so he just blew out the fire. fire, 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 fire. He always ruins everything. And I was right. <laughs> and, right, Baldy? Right, Mr. Baldy? Uh, I really don't think he looks so good. Oh my gosh. And Jeremy has done it. He triggered Baldy. I knew I could trust you because I knew you would always mess up everything. And now you burn the fire. You ruined this trap. And but now it's time for you to learn your lesson. Mr. Baldy, I can explain. A random cloud helicopter thing just came down and out of nowhere and he just burned down the fire. A cloud? <laughs> A cloud came down from the deeps of heaven and burned down the fire? Really? Are you two years old? Were you imagining things? Are you stupid idiot? Huh? No, I'm really telling you the truth. And why, like, why are you complaining about the, that fire? We could just always, like, build another one and uh, make another one. You know? Make another one? What are you talking about? It takes time to do, make another fire. You're insane, Mr. Baldy. Just please, don't hit me with your ruler, okay? Let's just relax and we can build another, we can make another one, okay? You little freak. <laughs> Daddy, please. I am sorry that I failed my grades. Please, don't beat me, please. I'm sorry, this is not gonna cut it. You're, you failed all your classes because how dumb you are. I didn't raise you to become a loser. I raised you to become a Harvard University teacher. Dad, please. I, I, I will fail, fail again. I promise, please. Just don't beat me, okay? Well, this ruler will definitely snap the dumbness out of you. Come here, boy. Ah! You know what? You're right, kid. You're totally right. I should just relax and not hit you with my ruler. So yeah, we could just rebuild the fire and we can make some s'mores together. So let's head back. Wait, really? You're really not gonna hit me with your ruler? <laughs> I was just only screwing with you. Now get over here! Ah! You made me do this, father. Ah! Oh, did you hear something, Bully? Yeah, um, uh, Mr. Bully just, uh, beat, uh, Jeremy with his ruler. Oh. Well, he kind of deserved it anyways. <laughs> oh, man, I cannot wait to eat this s'more. It looks so good. Oh, my gosh. This is the best vacation ever. More like the best 
field trip to camp. But yeah, I agree with you. 